If you're using Jira every day, let me show you a few game-changing tips which will save you tons of time. Feel free to share them with your colleagues because you with it. Here was the first tip. I think it's probably the best tip as in very unknown. So imagine you're in Jira on the board on an issue. You, you click dot and here you have a specific new which allows you to do many things. So one example here, you for example on a board, you want to quickly transition issue, say kick off state, transition, bumps, done. You want to transition in progress, done. You want to make it done, done. So it's super cool and easy. You can transition issues in one click. Another approach you can do here is, for example, you want to clone an issue. You want to assign issue. So many operations which you can do manually, you can so do some of time by just typing the dot, it's all dot menu. And afterwards you can do many things and it's very context specific. So for example, if you are, for example, here when I click dot, I can do many admin specific operations like user management, application access and so on. If you're in a project settings, you can do, for example, uh, find any other screen you want to navigate. For example, you can go to Microsoft Teams or other settings. So dot menu is super important and useful stuff. Uh, another very cool tip uh, is called Jira Automation. So it's a very powerful tool which allows you to do many things. And let me show you how you use it. I think one of the best tips you can do is ensure that your checklists are actually checked and uncreated for example we have a from when people transition issue from kickoff state to in progress we need to ensure that an issue contains a checklist and it's not empty so here for example when she transitioned to in progress and the label is not a product but everything else and we check the checklist has a text if not has only transition back to kickoff so it saves us tons of time a few other rules which we got As if interesting rules we have, like for example, if a reviewer uh, of the issue, so we add them as watchers because we have specific fields for reviewers, we want to ensure that people are watching the list. Another uh, very cool stuff we have here is uh, we have a field for pull requests. So we want to ensure that whenever development task is moved from in progress to code review state, it needs to have review artifacts field is not empty otherwise if it's empty it will be transitioned back to progress so this saves us tons of time and makes traceability between your task and github and a few other things we tried but they felt fast for example we could use issue transition so when an issue is transitioned our pull request is merged as it's a short developed or github pull request uh, we want to ensure that we move issue to a specific state for us it didn't work because sometimes there are multiple pull requests per issue and you don't want to rush and move the ticket to merge as soon as pull request is merged. So we tried and after team's feedback, we disabled the rule. We have a similar rule when PR is created, we want to move issue to code review state. And again, we disable it because uh, sometimes we don't want to rush to move ticket to code review. So more or less, this is a second and very nice tip. Stay tuned for the next one. And yet another cool tip, it's a search panel. So you can easily search, for example, to record this video, we have a Jira task and I want to navigate to it quickly, I can type uh, it's called slash menu and you end up in this search, you see it's called search slash so it saves you tons of time and you can easily search many things like you can search a board or you can search a project for example in our case we have projects and so so it becomes very easy for you to navigate and jump to things if you know like issue numbers, keywords or anything important and the last tip for today is, is don't forget to integrate your Microsoft Teams with Jira because uh, it saves you tons of time and destruction and you can, for example, have feed channels which report to you different things from instances. For example, in our case, we use Jira Service Management with support for external and internal support. We call a project called F1. Uh, some folks may relate to it. So whenever people, our customers create a support request, uh, we want to ensure that we receive a notification uh, in our specific channel. So in this case, we call this rule F1 rule. If there is something is coming, like issue created or commented, we want to send notification to support fit. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, we use this advanced Microsoft Teams Jira connector. And as you see how it looks, you, for example, have an issue of well, a card which corresponds to a particular support request all the uh, replies and changes to that issue as they are grouped together so it saves you tons of time you don't need to jump between things uh, so it, it makes it easier for you and your team to catch up with support and many other things so we have different feeds for different products 
and uh, tickets and teams. If you have any questions about Jira tips, Microsoft Teams tips or anything, please comment and let us know if we can help you with anything else. Thank you very much.